Number 56. Diamond is one form of elemental carbon. An engagement ring contains a diamond weighing 1.5, actually 1.25 carats. And they're telling us that one carat equals 200 milligrams. How many atoms are present in the diamond? Okay, so this looks like a conversion question, right? It's saying that we have an engagement ring that has a diamond that's weighing 1.25 carats. So I, I'm starting off with 1.25 carats. And they want to know how many atoms are present in this diamond. So they want us to go to atoms. Well, how are we going to get from carats to atoms? Now, they're telling us that a diamond is just a form of elemental carbon. If they say something is elemental and then they give a element, it's just a fancy way of saying it's just made of that element. So it would just be made of carbon. So technically, this would be carats of carbon, right? And they're looking for now atoms of carbon. Now, they give us a conversion factor, right? They, they say that we can link carat to milligrams. So I can go from carats of carbon to milligrams of carbon. But now, how do I get from milligrams of carbon to atoms? Well, I would first have to go to grams, right? Because the, the, the key between these two, right, is the moles. You can always convert from one thing to another using the lovely quantity unit for moles. So I have to try to get there. So if I just pull this a little bit off to the side, because I think I'm going to need a little bit more room, I would go to grams of carbon next. Then from grams, I can go to moles of carbon. So let me just pull this out, and then we will have our roadblock, our roadmap. Moles of carbon, and then finally I can get to atoms. So this would be a one, two, three, four step conversion factor. We've done crazy conversions in chapter one. It's the same thing here, but now you're just using grams and moles and atoms and carrots, right? So let's start it off. So 1.25 carats of C. Now it's just all one huge conversion, so that always means that we times by a ratio. And I don't want the word carrots, so that goes on the bottom, carrots of C. And the first step was to get to milligrams of C. So milligrams of carbon would go on the top. And what's the number between this conversion? Well, they tell us that one carat equaled 200 milligrams. So one carat equals 200 milligrams. And that's how you cancel out the word or the unit carat. And now we're at milligram. The next step was to get to grams of carbon because from there, then you could get to moles and then finally to atoms. So I'm just gonna keep moving along times by another ratio. You guys should get into the habit of just making one huge long conversion and not, you know, finding out the answer every step of the way. So milligram on the bottom of carbon, gram of carbon up top. Now this is just a SI unit conversion. It's milligrams with grams, right? Mg with G. So what's the conversion that we know? This is going back to chapter one. So you should know that for every one gram, there's a thousand milligrams, or you could say one milligram equals 10 to the negative three grams. Either one, it's up to you. I'm going to choose the first one because I don't like to use negative exponents. So I'm going to say for every one gram, there's a thousand milligrams and the unit milligram gets canceled. And now we did this step. So we did this step, we just did this step, so now we're moving on to the third step. And the third step is going from grams to moles of carbon. So times by a ratio, grams of C on the bottom, mole of C up top, what's the conversion that you should know from grams to moles? One mole of anything equals the molar mass in grams of that same element or compound. And I say X meaning a element or compound. So in this case, it would be one mole of carbon equals the molar mass of carbon. And where are you going to find the molar mass? It's always on the periodic table. And now over here, I put 
what carbon is on the periodic table. There's usually two numbers here, but just know that the mass number and how you find the molar mass will always be linked to the higher number. So you'll use the 12.01 and not the 6. So 12.01 goes here and grams cancel. And then finally, we can go to atoms. So we did this step. Now we can go from moles of carbon to atoms of carbon by doing the next conversion. So times by a ratio, mole of carbon on the bottom, atoms of carbon up top. What's the relationship between moles and atoms? This is another conversion factor that you should know. I'm going to put it over here. One mole of anything equals Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of that same thing. And remember, X, I just like to put X, but X in this case means any element. So one mole of carbon would equal Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd and mol, uh, moles of carbon cancel out, and the only unit that you're left with is atoms of carbon, because everything else canceled. So to simplify this, you could do this all in one shot, or you can multiply the top, multiply the bottom, and then get the answer. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll just do the top and the bottom. So what I'll do is 1.25 times 200 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, you get 1.5055 times 10 to the 26th, all over 1,000 times 12.01, which is 12,010. And then you just divide the two numbers. So here we go. Calculating it times this you get, and we need three sig figs because that's what we started with in the beginning of the problem. When you're doing conversions, you only take the sig figs that are in the beginning. So this would be 1.25, 1.25 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of carbon. Box that answer off. That is the answer to this question. So this one was fun, but it just required a lot of conversions. But hopefully you guys can break it down. And with all the practice that is in this whole entire chapter, you guys should be good to go. So thank you so much for tuning in. If this helped you at all, click the like button and click the subscribe button. It won't help. It won't, you know, not as well help you with getting the questions coming to you in your feed, but it also helps students from all of the world get these answers as well. And that's a pretty cool thing for you to do. And I totally appreciate that. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I will see you guys in five seconds if you're on the playlist. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.